What is up, my retail fam? It's your favorite YouTuber. It's your boy Mike coming at your phone. Wait for it. Wait for it. Somewhere down south in California. Hey, now this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Before I get started, you already know the deal. Now, in one of my videos, someone asked me a question. Now, I almost fell out of my chair. I almost dropped my Celsius. And the question was this. I talk about AMC, but why do I think AMC is a bad investment? Do I have proof? They asked me, do I have proof that AMC is a bad investment? Now, I didn't reply because, again, I was trying to clean up the mess from dropping myself just from a, a question like that of that magnitude. Anyways, I shook my head. But let me say, I just waited for a couple of days so I can actually make it here on YouTube so I can get the clicks, the views, and the tens of thousands of dollars that comes with it from having a YouTube channel so I can travel the world and do all these things. <laughs> yeah, okay. But the reason why I say AMC is a bad investment, and here's my proof. Breaking, here's the proof. I got it right here. You ready? You ready? Look at your accounts. Look at your accounts. You're not red. You're not red, red. You're just red, 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 and just goes all the way down. How many reds are you? 85, 90% and further. People are devastated. Reverse stock split, conversion, just massive shorting, this manipulation. Yes, I do agree. The retail investors never been wrong. We were right from the very beginning when it comes to AMC and GameStop and many other stocks. They're never gonna pay us the money. But with Adam Aaron at the helm, he's breadcrumbing retail. Now, I'm gonna make a video about that. And if you, know, if you don't know what breadcrumbing is, go ahead and look it up. The kids can be around, it's okay. It's nothing crazy. But Adam Aaron is breadcrumbing retail. Now, I was also asked another question. This question is this. You thought I sold AMC or didn't I sell AMC, so why am I making AMC videos? Well, you're half right. I sold AMC not once, I sold it twice. Made money both times, it's neither here or there. Was it my Moas? No. But I was whole, I was green on both transactions. It's neither here or there, it's not the point. The point is, I was lucky. I was lucky twice. But let me just add a little more to that. I'll be making AMC videos quite a bit. Why? Because I'm going to be in and out of AMC constantly. In and out of AMC, more than dudes in, in that girl in the casting couch. I'll be in and out of AMC every single day probably. Now, what I mean by that? I'll be trading AMC. The volatility in AMC to the upside and downside, it's monumental. Especially with all this dilution, there's tons of money to be made. Now, I know people don't have that option. I know people, they can't do that because it's down so much. They don't put no more money into it. I feel sorry for you. The retail investor is always last to know. I didn't get in late. I got in early. Again, I was lucky. I did not chase. I didn't FOMO in. I was lucky. Do I feel bad? Yes, people over leverage themselves. A lot of people did. I've, I've done it myself in my lifetime and many other things, not with AMC. But I did it with other stocks and so forth and I lost money. I day traded and I, I'm not day traded. I actually traded options and calls only when it comes to AMC. I lost money, learned the lesson. Because for me, I thought holding AMC, Adam Aaron was on board. That Adam Aaron was, was for the retail investor. That Adam Aaron was trying to lead us to the promised land. Come to find out, it's not true. Adam Aaron is a, is a scam artist. He's a hustler. He's pimping out retail for his friends. It's unfortunate, it's the truth. You can take my word for it, you can hate me. Call me a shill, it's fine. You can see the stadiums I go to is the green screen in the background. That's cool. But let me just let you in on a little something. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Say what I'm going to say. Nobody's going to stop me because I roll how I roll. It's simple as that. There's no gray area there. If you don't like it, you can keep on scrolling. Just the same way people talk about AMC or their favorite ticker symbol or their favorite stock. Well, I talk about AMC in a negative light because it is. If you want to hodl to 2047 to 2055, by all means, I know some people don't have the choice. I'm not making fun of you. It's a jacked up situation. We were never wrong. We got played, including myself. But I was lucky. I wasn't late to the party and I got out. A lot of people attacked me. A lot of people were saying, you sold at the wrong time. Because why? Because AMC was gonna go up to some crazy heights before the reverse stock split and before the conversion. What happened? Reverse arbitrage, probably. Everybody got destroyed. Again, I was lucky. You don't see me making videos mocking like, ha, ha, ha. No, I feel bad. It sucks because people don't have no choice. But here's another thing. A friend of mine, he's actually a big financier. He said this, and this is the problem with the movement, not only AMC, but many ticker symbols. It's the fact that people, a lot of people, a lot of retail are not financial, financially literate. Okay. Now you can take that for what it is. You got a couple hundred bucks, maybe a couple thousand bucks. Thought you can make a couple million dollars. Again, we were never wrong. We should have got paid, but we didn't. They stole our money. Not only did they steal our money, you have people on the inside, Adam Aaron, helping them out. Now, you think Taylor Swift is going to save AMC? Highly doubt it. 
Will they make a couple bucks? Probably. But Adam Marin is breadcrumbing in retail. A retail investor. The retail investor is always last to know. Now, a lot of people won't say what I say because they don't want to lose the clicks and the views or the subscribers. That's fine. Just a couple of messages that people send me. You know you're losing some fan base. That's fine. I keep telling you, I'm not here for, for YouTube stardom. If I was, I would never say anything. I'd be like, other YouTubers just pump it up and be like, oh, it's going to squeeze and breaking news and blah, blah, blah. It's not happening. You don't like what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. I'm being honest. I don't care about subscribers. I don't care about clicks. Some people think I do. Fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to say what I'm saying. I roll how I roll. I will be playing AMC up and down. Okay? Up and down. All over the place. If you don't like that, it is what it is. I'm not going to change because you have opinion about me. Again, my opinion is a retail investor is always last to know. I met Adam Aaron in person. I seen it firsthand. It's disgusting. What he's doing and what he's done to retail is absolutely disgusting. It is horrible. It's a tragedy. We were never wrong ever from the very beginning, day one. We were never wrong. We were stolen from, we were manipulated, and it was just insider, just insider, insider, insider. If you still want to believe Adam Aaron, fine. You're entitled to do whatever you're going to do. You want me to stop talking about AMC? Not going to happen. You want me to stop talking about our negative? Stop talking negative about AMC? Not going to happen. And I'll be playing AMC, upside and downside. Now, with a couple of people, I thought about this. Want me to go and have a separate account so you can actually, for free, totally for free, day trade AMC. What's your thoughts on that? You can see what I'm doing. Full transparency. Yes, you need 25K, I put 50K. Let me day trade AMC. You can see all the puts and the calls and the options and what I do with the AMC. Do you want to see that? Something you're interested in. If not, fine then. Leave in the comments below. But again, the retail investor is always last to know, and Adam Aaron is breadcrumbing AMC, and it's absolutely disgusting. Anyways, that's all I have. Everybody have a blessed day. Much love, and I'll see you at a stadium with a green screen. <laughs> Coming soon. Take it easy. Peace.